Today I'm going to talk about one of the things that have been asked often, especially from those just coming or are still on their way here to Canada. It's house hunting here in London, Ontario. here in the city of London. That meant that um, we didn't have anywhere to stay for the first few weeks or months. So the pressure was really on. And I believe there are tons of other families or individuals coming here that have a similar situation as us. So um, I'm gonna share our house hunting journey, give some tips and thoughts so that you'll have some idea of what to expect. First things is first. As mentioned, we didn't know anybody here, so our option was either book a hotel or an Airbnb. And of course, if you weigh the cost, you get better value with the Airbnb. Some tips when you're booking an Airbnb, you have, have to really check out the location. Since you're not yet familiar with the place, you have to like check out Google Maps, see how, see how far it is from, from the school or the, your place of work or um, is there any nearby bus stop, is this area safe, is the neighborhood secured? Um, so that's one. And of course you have to think about the cost. Now this is very important because um, I really want to emphasize this, that it's, it's imperative that you have, you have to book as soon as you can if you, if you find a place that you like within your budget. Um, in our case, we book it like three or four months ahead. Um, and I only booked it for two, two weeks, just a little over two weeks, but less than three weeks, thinking that it would be enough time for us to like search for a house or an apartment. And then that like, I was expecting that on our second week upon arrival, we'll be packing up and moving to our more permanent place. But why was I wrong? Of course I was wrong. It was holiday season, it was after Christmas, so most of the agents or home owners were not yet back to work mode. The, the first week really was, I felt like, was a waste. We didn't accomplish anything house hunting wise. So I strongly advise that you book ahead an Airbnb and you book it um, three weeks at least. Uh, that would more or less give you enough time but if you really want to be on the safe side you want to maybe book it for one month also um, you have to be mindful of this because in our case we had to extend one more week and fortunately we were able to book the same place because it was available it was only available for another week after that week it was already fully booked for the next um, maybe maybe month so that meant that if that place wasn't available, we would have had to pack our things again and then move to another Airbnb, which would be such a hassle. Number two, search for properties ahead. While you're still in the Philippines, you might want to check out some postings over the internet. Go to your reputable websites and um, you can also check out Facebook Marketplace, but I didn't really resort to marketplace. I wanted to check out um, properties from um, really um, property websites and then um, be able to connect with an agent who um, ideally would be, I could easily like search on LinkedIn or see which company they are affiliated to because it, you know, it gives you more trust. And our online house hunting, we were able to get in touch with a really nice fellow who was an agent connected to a big um, state rental property here in London. Um, he was able to guide us through the process. He, he, we had a Zoom call. It felt really safe. He didn't ask for any documents nor any um, payments, of course. But he guided us through the process and he was very hands-on in giving us property options. Um, we just gave him the date of our arrival so we would have an idea of what properties to give um, to give us as options that properties that are actually available closer to our arrival date. 
Now, when checking out properties online, so you want to check out, of course, you have to consider your budgets. You also have to consider how or how big a space you need. Um, are you coming here alone or with your partner or with your child or even children? Do you need a studio unit, which um, is very scarce here as I've noticed, but there are lots of one-bedroom apartments or basements and also two-bedroom properties. Um, so yes, speaking of basements, you also have to consider what you like. Do you want to, are you okay with living in a basement or would you prefer an apartment or do you want a house uh, with a lawn and garage? And Another thing that I had to look for in an apartment was the location, of course. Uh, you have to consider um, nearby bus stops or how accessible it is from the your place of work or your school or any possible school schools that could accommodate your, your child or your children. You don't want to search too soon or too early. Ideally, um, I would suggest that you send out um, inquiries about two weeks before your arrival because if the, they see or the agents see that um, you're still months away from coming here, they, they might not make you a priority. But if they see that you are, like you'll be here in like two weeks or a week, they'll uh, they'll be happy to um, maybe book uh, a viewing for you. Now, in terms of viewing, um, I suggest that you already try to book, if you can, a viewing of any properties that you are interested in. Um, make it about um, maybe the first or second week upon your arrival. Because of the sooner you get to place, the sooner you, you can decide if you want to get it. And because you also have to consider the waiting time, um, you know, the approval of your application because you have to apply for the rental property that you have. Importantly, while you are still checking out properties online, do not ever give out any documents. Maybe you can give out your name and your email address, but don't give like passports and other important documents. And most of all, do not um, make any payments, do not make any deals um, if you haven't seen the property. That leads me to my um, to tip number three, see the property in person. So yeah, um, site visit is very important. This will give you an idea of how far the place is from, from where you are going to on a daily basis. What are the nearby um, establishments that are there? Are there groceries nearby or a drugstore, um, even church? You also get a feel of the neighborhood and the community as a whole. Um, you will uh, you will see if the place is more on young professionals, if the renters there are more families, which is um, essential if this is important to you, if the community is important to you especially if you have kids because you might want your kids to you know meet other children and have some friends in the neighborhood also um, it will give you an idea about the security of the um, neighborhood and the building itself or if there are any amenities offered in the building and you get a clue of where you can do your laundry or um, if there's a gym and security wise is the entrance um, safe and secure is there special uh, is the door really just exclusive for the um, renters? Um, I'm going to show you some of the properties that we've checked out. Um, all in all, we saw four properties. Um, so the first one has two bedrooms and it's one bus or it's very close to Masonville Mall, which is one of the major malls here in London. It's also a very short bus ride going to my husband's school and it really felt um, light and airy. It even has new appliances, it is newly renovated. And everything about the inside was really great. Even the price was good for, for two bedrooms. But however, um, we didn't like the building so much, the building itself. Um, it, as many other buildings here in London, it's old, but um, while well, you can see lots of old buildings here, they are mostly modernized and renovated in the recent years. But this one, um, they I would even call it The Shining, because the red carpets and the brick wall, the hallway, it just, it, 
it was not for us. I couldn't imagine living there for the next 365 days because one year is like the minimum contract that you have to make if you're gonna rent here. This one, apartment number two, was, uh, the space is big. I like that it already has blinds installed. It also has two bedrooms and one of the bedroom, the master suite had, had an ensuite bathroom, which is great. It's, um, it also has a good price and the community itself was great. There was a gym, there was a swimming pool, I think there was even a tennis court and there was like an area for if you want to have a little party or barbecue with friends, which is, which is really appealing. The outside was really great. However, um, it didn't have that same light, airy feeling that I wanted now. It was very important for me because when we were living, we were at our Airbnb, the property was a basement. So we spent there um, almost a month. We were there almost a month living in a basement. It was great. It was beautifully decorated. It was newly renovated. I, I enjoyed the kitchen so much for this big island and new appliances. However, um, it made you feel uh, it made you feel claustrophobic somehow being being in a basement, not having proper windows. There was only a like little window where you could see if it's sunny outside or, or if it was raining or if it's snowing. We didn't we wouldn't even realize if it's snowing. We just wake up the next day and we open the door and say, oh, it was snowing last night apartment that we lived. We were looking for apartments, we didn't even consider a basement and, and a house is definitely out of our budget. But we were specifically looking for a two bedroom because we have our um, little son. Although we could have gotten a one bedroom, there isn't any strict um, city policies that children of a certain age must, be must have a separate bedroom. We just felt like um, we will be stuck in this uh, property for one whole year. We want to make sure that we have enough space that we, it won't drive us crazy being too close to each other. So anyway, going back to Home 3. This was the same developer as Home 1. I really informed the Asian that um, although we really, really loved the unit, the first unit, we didn't like the building itself. So she suggested that we see this other um, unit. This unit was also two bedroom. And this was in another building, and fortunately, this building is also where the admin office is. So it's always clean, and any renovations in the whole compound always starts with this building. So um, first impression really was it was very clean. It it feels so modern. It even smelled good. That's easily our favorite among the three that we have seen so far. However, we have also viewed one more property. This one is from our agent, the, the agent that has been talking to since we were still in the Philippines. Um, it was a really good price. It was also two bedroom unit. Um, it, it was newly renovated, has new appliances, even comes with um, basic furniture like bed and dining table, sofa. So everything you need actually. And it has an ensuite laundry, which is a very big plus because you don't have to go to the common laundry of the building. We really actually love this place. The neighborhood is also good. But in the end, we ended up choosing home number three. And it was primarily because um, of the community. Last and final tip, um, prepare your requirements. Um, so being a newcomer, you will be asked for identification, so that's your passport. You will also be asked for a copy of your uh, permits. If you are already working, you will be asked for um, employment letter and um, pay stops and other employment proof. If you're a student, in our case, my husband, my husband holds student permit and I'm on open work permit. So um, we thought it would be challenging, but it really um, wasn't. So we we're asked for our permits and also the um, our bank statements. Um, so this could be your bank statements 
here in Canada. We were able to open our bank accounts to pursue their web here. It is super fast and easy. If you also still have funds in the Philippines, um, you can also use bank statements from your Philippine banks that would really help, um, you know, just to show that you are capable of paying for the next few months at least. And but and this is um, this really helped and not everyone might have this option but for us we were lucky we do have relatives here and you can have anybody it doesn't even have to be a relative maybe you know someone a friend it could be anybody who's been living here in Canada preferably a PR or a citizen um, who could like be your co-signee and that is all for now um i hope i was able to give out some health tips and if i think of some more i will edit it thank you so much for being here with me and i wish you good luck on your house hunting journey here in london ontario